I'm so in love with today's color combination. Shades of blue with a touch of white on a gray background. I'm so in love with it. I also use the gray as my pour over paint to create these beautiful cells. Check out today's video guys, you're gonna love it. again everyone it's Camille welcome back to my channel I want to say thank you all for being here it's another Tuesday night and we are doing our Tuesday night premieres with me Laurie Holly and Nate guys go ahead and check out um, the others their premieres their times will be listed in my description box below so you can always go ahead and check that out I'm so excited about today's pour. I'll be pouring on two canvas. I mix enough paint to paint on these uh, two 12 by 36 inch canvas. They're pretty long. And I wanted to do another experiment. This time I want to create the cells in the middle of the canvas and then use a blow dryer to blow out to create some design on each side so do check it out guys you know it's just amazing where you can you know think outside the box and create something different you know and the color combination that i'm working with today is just beautiful i'm so in love with it you know what guys the colors i'm using of course will be listed in the description box below you can always go ahead and do check that out i want to give a big shout out to tara from pieces of tara artistry she really inspired me to create these beautiful cells along with Dwight from Dwight Poor. I do watch both of these artists to get some great inspiration. I love the way they both um, create their own and get beautiful results. And guys, like I said in the beginning, um, in my previous videos, I don't mix my paint with Floetrol, but Tara and Dwight from Dwight Poor they use that ingredient so guys if you want to go ahead and check them out i'll be listing their channel name in my description box below you can see how they mix their paints and stuff like that and how they get great results all right um i decided to use the gray because i tried tara can i tell you i tried so much so often with the white but it's not you know i'm not getting beautiful cells like yours <laughs> So I decided to, you know what? All right, it works perfect for me using the black paint. And with the white, I know Dwight from Dwight Pour said, you know what, mix your white a little bit thinner than the black pour over. I tried it, it works, but you know, the, it's, it's a slow process and I didn't quite like it. So I, I thought, you know what, let's experiment and use gray. This gray is a custom mix. It's the black artist loft mixed with the white artist loft blue acrylic. All right, so these are the soft body paints. Um, and so I mix both together to create this beautiful gray. And you know, it wasn't, like I said, guys, an experiment. At first I mixed the gray too dark, didn't like it, and mixed it too light and it didn't work. So this is an in-between shade and it worked just fine wouldn't you guys agree i'm loving it beautiful beautiful shade of gray here i'm so in love and you know guys this is one thing with the fluid art the acrylic pour art however you want to call it guys there's just so many fun ways to create beautiful masterpieces i'm telling you you guys should all just jump on board and i'm so happy to be able to share my experience with you because that's the thing, you know, you just want to keep experimenting, you, you want to keep growing. And this is what the fluid art, the acrylic pour painting is all about. I do enjoy pouring paint, pouring acrylic paint on canvas. 
seen great result it's just amazing it's really really satisfying to really watch other artists you know just pouring the paint on the canvas and creating their own masterpiece it always blow my mind like like i said guys you know on tuesdays we do our premieres and four artists and we do four different techniques and it's just amazing different result all the time so i do hope you guys really stick around to the end check out our videos and if you really do enjoy give us a thumbs up you know like and share and if you haven't subscribed as yet go ahead and hit the subscribe button it's free and it honestly it means the world to us if you do give us a subscribe it's one of the biggest ways to support our channel for us to grow and to reach more people all right so thank you for sticking around to the end and guys i have another video and a second canvas that i'll be painting on so it's a two for one and then i'll be showing you how i hang them together so stick around all the way to the end and i will see you guys thank you
so here i am getting ready to pour on my second canvas it's a 12 by 36 inch gallery wrap as i mentioned in the beginning but this time i will be pouring the paint on the canvas a little bit different if you are noticing in the first canvas on the first canvas i was pouring the paint like in a circle this time i decided to just pour the colors a little bit more solid and just add in white in between so just check it out guys i really do love it the way it came out let me know which one you prefer i would love to know which design which result um came out better or which you think came out better in your own opinion i just want to know which you prefer and why all right guys so do leave me a comment in the comment section below I'm so excited to hear your thoughts on this one. Thank you.
hope this is not confusing but this is the close-up of the first canvas that I did check it out guys I'm so in love with the cells and you know what I just want to mention guys that you can create cells without silicone oils you don't need to use silicone oils if you don't have to okay because silicone oils can create problems when you need to put your finish coat on it okay so after your canvas is dried and you want to resin or varnish you have to clean the canvas with you know that had the silicone oil on it you have to clean it off properly if you don't know how to do it you're gonna end up with problems all right so avoid silicone oils if you can all right guys there's so many ways out there to create beautiful cells like for instance this pearl cells the puddle pour pearl cells um, you can always use satin enamels it's just just so many ways of creating beautiful beautiful cells let me know what you guys think this is the second canvas i did and i think this is my favorite of the two which one do you prefer guys let me know i do love how the cells are more solid and the colors are more dominant they're so bright um, the first one the color is muted but you do see the cells i'm glad i experimented and you know pour the paint this way beautiful 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 result and you do see the blue cell popping through the turquoise or the white popping through the, the dark blue it's just amazing i'm loving it guys what do you think about this one and of course the background that gray background custom mix with the artist loft for acrylic white and the floor acrylic black beautiful and you do see some popping of cells created from the mixture of paint in this dutch pour section and i'm just so in love the white also brightens the piece it's just an amazing piece guys i'm so in love with it let me know what you guys think about it and of course the dried result is coming up And here I put both canvas together showing the close-up of the wet result of both canvases together and amazing guys I did not put both of them together to create the design that I want but look at that it actually flows you know it actually matches <laughs> it's matchy matchy you know <laughs> I know Canela Siraka would always say stuff like that but i'm loving it i'm loving you know the orientation this way i'm not sure let me know what you guys think um but yeah i do love it and honestly the colors i just can't get over how beautiful the colors are and how they didn't get muted in the gray it's just amazing i'm i'm loving it it this is one of my favorite to date i do love it guys let me know what you guys think about this one all right leave me a comment in the comment section and here it is dried this is my option one of how i want to hang it on my wall but you know i just want to hear you guys feedback on this you know which do you prefer to hang i am only giving you two options this week one and two <laughs> i don't want to hang it any other way this is just how i want to put it so let me know guys it's dried it's dried beautiful there's no resin on this as yet but i will resin this piece and i just wanted to show you the natural colors how beautiful they are check out that um blue violet how it's just amazing the turquoise the white all the colors in here is just beautiful you guys let me know what you think about it and of course which option you prefer one or two and one um, two is coming up right now
here is option two I think I prefer to hang it this way I just love the way how the cells you know how it's you know forming in a pattern coming downwards I do like it in this orientation I'm not sure what you guys are seeing but let me know and of course the blow dryer section is just amazing the cells in this section is just beautiful 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 i'm so in love and the white really really brightens this piece aren't you guys in love with the fluid art the acrylic pour painting or the pour art whatever you guys want to call it i'm so in love with this um art you guys it's just amazing the beautiful result you can get from just pouring paint on canvas and tilting it blowing it out with a blow dryer whatever it is that you want to do and creating some beautiful effects so in love with this piece you guys thank you so much for sticking around with me all the way to the end and of course check out the next um, person coming up it's holly check her out if you miss her pre premiere guys just check her out in my description box you will find her time or her channel or um, we guys can go ahead and watch her video after all right so thank you so much don't forget to give this video a thumbs up you know share with your friends and family and if you haven't subscribed as yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button i do have great contents to share and i will see you guys next time on camila moy art bye